Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a fabulous dancer workout for you. Of course, you don't have to be a dancer in order to do this workout. It's just a ballet inspired workout. Something I like to call Pilates, which basically combines both ballet and Pilates movements. We're going to work the entire body. It's going to be intense, but it's going to be amazing. You are literally going to feel every muscle in your body working. We love that. I have 22 exercises, no repeats. That means each exercise is going to be different and we'll perform each exercise for one minute. You will then have a 20 second rest in between each exercise. You get to rest, I don't, because during your rest, I will be demonstrating the next exercise. That way you won't miss a thing. Okay, friends, you don't need any equipment, just a yoga mat, so let's get to it. All right, my beauties, let's come down on our mat. And friendly reminder, during these HIIT workouts, you set your own tempo. You do not have to go the same speed I'm going at, all right? It's all about you. Let me demonstrate exercise number one. We're gonna just start with a half roll back, scooping the belly and tucking the tail. And we're just gonna pulse back four times. And then we're going to rotate to one of our sides and pulse our leg back in a beautiful arabesque. Then we roll back onto the booty and again, pulsing back four times. And then you're just gonna twist and roll the other way and pulse your other leg up to the back four times in your beautiful arabesque, working those glutes. All right, my friends, let's get to it. Each exercise for one whole minute. You can do it, really push yourself. Here we go. Okay, and we're off. Really scooping the belly and tucking the tail to get in touch with those deep core muscles. And of course, we're really squeezing the glute at the top of each of our beautiful arabesque pulses. 40 seconds left. Make sure you're always breathing nice and deep, never holding the breath. Good, 30 seconds left. Almost there, 10 seconds. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Neck is always nice and long. Beautiful job, friends. All right, take your 20 second rest. Here's what exercise number two is. We're gonna go for some plie pulses and then we're going to cross a leg over. You're gonna keep your body facing the wall in front of you and I really want you to squeeze those inner thighs to cross the leg over. Go for it. Tailbone goes straight down, both legs long and cross it over. Down, down, lift and cross. Good, such a good exercise to really challenge your strength and balance and flexibility and hip mobility. We're working a lot here. Good, we're at 32 seconds. Stay strong, keep smiling, keep going. Fifteen seconds left. Great job, everyone. All right, take your 20 second rest. Here's exercise number three. We're gonna go into a high plank pose, shift back, shoot it out, and lift up again into your beautiful arabesque with both legs and then go again, shifting back. Start it up. Make sure in that shift back, you're really rounding the back, tucking the tail and tucking the chin. 
and then externally rotate your legs to lift up into your beautiful arabesque. Core working really, really hard here. Belly button always pulling in and up to help protect your lower back, super important. 30 seconds, keep going my friends. Good, 16 seconds left, you can do it, don't give up. Long, long legs. Nice work, everyone. All right, we're moving right along. Let's lay down on our mats and we're gonna go for a roll up, going as quickly as you can, but still articulating. And at the top of our roll up, we're gonna lift up the right leg and twist to the right. Go for it. And of course, the next time you roll up, lift up the left, grab onto it and twist to the left. Try to really sit up as tall as possible in that leg lift. If you need to bend your knee a little bit, that's a-okay. You can always modify by bending the knee a little bit, but make sure you're always striving to create the longest lines possible. That's how we really sculpt those beautiful long lean muscles. Never gripping, always lengthening. 15 seconds, keep going, you can do it, you can do it. Beautiful job, everyone. All right, we're gonna flip over next and do a beautiful flying bird dog. I have my left leg in an arabesque and my right arm to the side and we keep those limbs up and just kind of breathe and pulse. Go for it. We're staying here the whole time. Don't lower your limbs all the way down to the floor. We're just keeping them up and pulsing. Squeezing the glute at the top of the lift and your opposite arm is doing this beautiful flying motion. So good, you're gonna feel this in your shoulder, your arm, your back, your glutes, your hamstrings. Of course, your core as well. Always working that core no matter what, right? Keep going everyone, you can do it. I know this is a tough one. Think happy thoughts, you're almost there. We have 20 seconds left. Breathing deep, belly button always pulling in and up. You can do it, 10 seconds. Yes! All right, swing out those arms if you need to. Next exercise is the same thing, just on the opposite side. All right, opposite arm to leg. And go for it, everyone. Pulsing that leg up in your beautiful arabesque, squeezing the glute at the top of the pulse and flying that arm out to the side, nice and gracefully. Good. 42 seconds left, breathe deep, core activated. You can do it, keep going. Twenty seconds left. Really fight for it. I know everything is burning. Ten seconds. You're almost there. Don't give up. Yes! Great job, everybody. That one is so much harder than it looks. 
All right, next up, we're gonna do a double leg drop. Sitting on the hands, legs are externally rotated, lower down, and we make a passe with the right, passe with the left, and then lift the legs back up. Go for it. Make sure you're always imprinting your spine. That means we're pressing our lower back into the mat. Legs stay nice and lengthened in that double leg drop. And the legs stay in your turned out or externally rotated position the whole time. Good, we're at 35 seconds. Keep going, friends. You can always modify by keeping your head down. Just make sure you're still imprinting your spine. 20 seconds, keep going. Nice work. All right, friends, we're gonna flip over onto the forearms in our tabletop position. And we're just going to take a leg and lift it up in our beautiful attitude, pulsing three times, lower down. And then same thing with your other leg, pulsing up three times and lowering down. Go for it. Squeezing those glutes at the top of your attitude pulse. Make sure you're turning your leg out as you lift it up. So we want that knee facing out to the side in our attitude position. Good, keep your gaze at the mat, core activated. Don't let that back arch. Navel to the spine, always, always, always. 30 seconds. Twenty seconds, you can do it. Almost there, don't give up. Beautiful. All right, friends, next up we have a teaser split combination. So we're starting in our half roll back position, lengthening up to our teaser, lowering the toes down, and then opening up to your straddle split. Go for it. Belly is scooped, tailbone is tucked. If you're having trouble balancing in this position, you can always modify by placing your hands on the floor behind you. Good job, everyone. Keep going. You can do it. We're at 35 seconds. Keep lengthening those legs nice and long. seconds ten seconds left really fight for it you can do it don't give up don't stop woohoo I know that one is a killer all right onto the backs let's go for some attitude scissors and we're going to place the arms in a ballet high fifth position. All right, friends. Go for it, slicing the legs in our beautiful externally rotated position. Knees are bent. And of course, we're pressing that lower back into the mat. Arms are rounded above the head. Keep those shoulders away from the ears. No tension up top. Good. Keep going, everyone. You can do it. 30 seconds. Breathe. 
breathe deep. You're almost there. 15 seconds left. Keep going. Yes! Great work, everyone. All right, we're going to get on the feet for the next one. We have some curtsy squats. Pulsing down and we développe and then enveloppe. So we're just gonna work one side. Go for it. Pulse down, pulse down, développe, enveloppe. Again, so amazing. Great challenge for your strength, balance, flexibility, mobility. Make sure both legs are turned out the whole time. And when you extend your leg out to the side, really pull up your supporting leg. So you're standing on a nice, strong, straight leg. Good, 25 seconds. Keep going, everyone. I know you can do it. Don't give up. Almost there. Yes! So good. All right, shake out everything. We got to even things out and do the same thing on the second side. Pulse down twice, and extend, and again. Keep your shoulders stacked right on top of your hips the whole time. We don't want to lean back or pitch forward or tilt to one side. So really stay nice and vertical in your torso. Beautiful work, everyone. Keep going. You can do it. Really fight for it. I know this is a tough one. Stick with me. Twenty seconds left. Almost there. Yes! Amazing. All right, friends, on to the mat for the next one. Let's get into a forearm reverse tabletop. Extend your right leg out. We kick it up and then swing it open to the side, just working your right leg. And go for it. Keeping your pelvis off the floor, hips should be lifted and level the whole time. You can, of course, modify this by just keeping your pelvis down on the mat. Good. Right leg is so long and lengthened, and that right leg is turned out. So we're really working those inner thighs on this one. 33 seconds. Keep going, friends. You can do it. Stay strong. Twenty seconds left. Keep going. Almost there. Yes! So proud of you. That is a tough one. All right, we got to even everything out. Let's do the same thing on the second side. Lifting up onto those forearms. Left leg is out. Kick it up and then swing it open. Keep your gaze at your hips for every now and again. Just check them and just make sure they're staying lifted and level the whole time. Super important. Super important. 
Looking good, everyone. Keep going. You can do it. 36 seconds. Breathe deep. Really push the floor away with those forearms. Good. Almost there. 15 seconds. You can do it. Don't give up. Yes! All right. We are almost done. Don't give up on me now. You can finish this workout with me. Let's make it happen. High plank passe and then a high plank split. So again, we're just moving our right leg. Go for it, friends. Passe behind the knee and then split the leg. Same leg. Good. Feel the body nice and strong and in that beautiful straight line. No cheating. Don't let your hips sink down towards the floor. Don't let the booty pop up towards the sky. This is a tough one, so move slow. If you're running out of steam, just slow your pace down. There's nothing wrong with that, but just try to keep moving. We're at 20 seconds. You can do it. Belly button pulling in and up. Yes! So good. I know that one is a tough one, but we love it. All right, let's do the same thing on the other side. So now we're just going to move the left leg, passe, and then split. Knee to the side in your passe, and split the leg, bring it around, and take it back. Good job, everyone. 40 seconds. Stick with me. Breathe deep. Think happy thoughts. I know you can do it. Don't give up. Almost there. You got 15 seconds. Really push yourself. Amazing. All right, I'm feeling it too. Let's keep going, friends. We're going to get onto the backs. We get to keep the head down for this one. Yay! Arms out to the side like a T, and we're just going to ballet beat the legs and then open to a straddle or center split. So beat the legs four times one, two, three, four, and open wide. Use those inner thighs to bring the legs back together for your beats. Good. Legs are turned out the whole time. Really working those inner thighs on this one. 38 seconds. Keep going. Stay strong. Breathe deep here. seconds keep really lengthening those legs no gripping nice long beautiful lines wonderful all right we're already at exercise number 18 it's going by fast isn't it all right from here we're going to go into a forearm plank and just tiptoe to a pike pose we ponche with the right leg ponche with the left leg and then just tiptoe back down 
All right, friends, go for it. Tiptoe to your pike. Tailbone goes to the sky. You're in an upside down V. Ponche right leg. Ponche left leg. And tiptoe back to your forearm plank. And make sure you're really establishing a good plank pose. Nice and horizontal. Body parallel to the floor. Good, you're halfway there. 30 seconds left, keep going. seconds left. Breathe deep. Enjoy that ponche split. Yes! All right, friends. On to the bellies. We're going to go for some prone butt kicks, aka hamstring curls. Alternating legs. We're just going to kick the butt four times. One, two, three, four. Roll onto your side for two side kicks. And then we go back onto the bellies and go again. Go for it, friends. Four little butt kicks or hamstring curls. And make sure you're alternating the side that you roll onto for your two side kicks. Core activated, belly button pulling in and up. Thirty-three seconds. Keep going, friends. You can do it. Twenty seconds left. Stay strong. Great work, everyone. All right, we got three exercises left. Don't you dare quit on me now. Exercise 20, let's get into a reverse tabletop. We're gonna make a beautiful passe, lengthening the leg up, bring it back down to your passe, and then we switch to the second side. All right, friends, go for it. If you really wanna amp this up, try to lift your heels off the mat so you're on the balls of the feet. If that's too much or too hard for you, just put the heels down so the whole foot is connected to the floor. Your choice. 40 seconds. Keep squeezing those glutes. Those hips have to be lifted and level the whole time. Nice work, everyone. We're almost there. 18 seconds left. Well done. All right, two more left. Exercise number 21. Onto the bellies. Let's go for our mermaid tail. Lift, extend, and bend, and lower down. Go for it, everyone. I like to lift up into this baby back extension, but if that's too much for you, you can always just place hand on top of hand and rest your forehead on your hands. That'll make it a little bit easier on your back. 42 seconds. Core activated, hold that belly button up to your spine so we don't get any lower back discomfort. Good, keep going friends. I love this one, this is one of my favorites. We're working the core, the glutes, the hamstrings. Good, almost there, 12 seconds.
Yes. All right. Last exercise. Exercise 22. We're going to start in a zigzag position and lift our back leg up, pulsing it up, and then we switch over to the second side. All right, friends, go for it. Back leg pulses up in that ballet attitude four times and then roll on to the other side. Really squeezing the glute at the top of that attitude pulse. Keep going, everyone. You're looking good. 35 seconds, finish strong. Really push yourself this last little bit. Good, we're at 20 seconds. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And you did it. Take some nice deep breaths, everyone. You are complete. Shake out your legs, pat them out, swing out those arms. Give yourself a huge hug for doing something so amazing for your body, mind, and soul. Woohoo! We did it! Thank you so much for joining me today. I really, really hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below, let me know how you did. Make suggestions for future videos. And of course, share this video with your friends. It really helps spread the love and it really helps me out so much and I appreciate it more than you probably know. Please subscribe to my channel and officially join the Danzig Fitness family. And I will be seeing you all very, very soon. Take care of you. Bye guys. Thank you.